Do you hate your pets? Do you wish your pets have powers and they can fight for you in an endless cycle of suffer? Well, welcome to Pixelmon, where we can torture our pets and the government can't do shit about it. This is the homepage and there is a lot of stuff. It reminds me of YouTube back in the day when the screen is just full of the subscribe thing. We still have that, but not as complex as before. Does this have anything to do with the video? Nope. So what should we call this? I have a name in mind, but I'm gonna let you choose first. Just kidding. Don't ask me how I thought. Of this i don't know hey there is little pokemon there kawaii all right <laughs> shit I, I didn't read the text <laughs> Alright. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Thank you for installing this mod. Now please pick your desired starter Pokemon. Now there's one new gen Pokemon I like very much and that is da 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 Grand Ninja or Froggy. That's his first form. This Pokemon is badass in my opinion. He just looks cool. Especially with the Ash Grand Ninja feels. Ooh wee. Sorry Charizard. You're number two in this list. Alright. A wonderful world. And holy shit. You have found a village. Yes I know. A level 50. God look. It will be mine one day. And what the fuck is Team Rocket here? Okay, this is the health center, I believe. A level 29 teddy bear. Jesus. <gasps> uh, what the fuck? Abracadabra? Uh, okay, you, you son of a chest. Ooh, some gems. Interesting. Pretty feather. Can sell to shopkeepers. Oh yeah, I forgot to went to the shopkeepers. Oh, there's so much stuff. I don't need the flower pot. I've never seen this boss before. I'm sorry, I'm not a huge Pokemon fan. Hello. My Pokemon deserve the best. If one of them... Hey, come back here. God damn it. Apparently, I can hit him. Alright, so this is the shopkeeper. Pretty nice. We got Van... Van... Van We've got vending machines, three of them, and I got something for you, my friend. With the self this 500 poker dollars. I'll take that. <gasps> the ultra balls. If I remember correctly, they're very powerful. Why is repeat ball? So I'm gonna take it anyways. My bag is full. Do we have a backpack mod install? Um, okay, leather. I need leather. Chest, gold ingots. And what the hell is this? Backpack tank. Alright, we need six glass and two art. Alright. Looks like you're my opponent. Go. Bubble. I'm not gonna lose to a level two. Yup, I lost. Anyways, I started to battle some Pokemons to level up my Froggy. And then I found out the shopkeeper was hiding all the good stuff upstairs. Or maybe he just needs to sell all of this stuff. After that, I also captured a Abra and a Tentacool, which is very cool. Get it? No? No? Uh. Okay. Anyways, I saw a I encountered a Bulbasaur and I keep telling him to sleep but he still won't sleep. Probably because it's literally morning. And I found out that Abra only has one skill. And the worst part is, he just fucking teleports away. And I'm forced to send out another Pokemon. Just amazing. After that, I went collecting sand for the glass. And I saw Pikachu. And I knew I have to capture him. And so I did. After that, I went to battle with the deer Pokemon. And it did not go well. And I found out that my Pikachu is weak as shit. Like he literally has a skill called play nice. What? And so I lost, of course, because Abra, our last hope, only has a skill called teleport and in turn made my computer lag. Thank you, Abra. You're the best. Alright, after the lag, I continue playing and I didn't check the OBS. And so it came out like this for the rest of the hour. Yep. So I'm just gonna simply explain what happened. So I found out almost all my Pokemon are female, which is irrelevant, and I bragged about surrounded by ladies also irrelevant even though they're fucking pokemon so i continued my journey on finding the ladder which took me almost forever on my journey i captured a radicate yes that's my boy actually it's a girl that's my girl and so i went battle with the deer 
I forgot his name and then one but sadly it dropped only me and just so you know I'm describing the story based on what I heard from my recording because I did record my voice just didn't record the video so after I got the meat I ate it and it was delicious and I also killed a bear which it finally dropped a letter and I was so happy because I thought the mission is over until I realized I did four of them I cried at the corner and with pure rage I hunt down the bear family and forced them to watch teleton before killing them with my frog and just when i thought i found peace i forgot to get the goal just one goal what the fuck is the button goal why can't it be iron or michael jackson's face actually i would buy that oh yeah my froggy also evolved into a teenage froggy yay Anyway, I went to a cave and found a mineshaft where I found a goal and also captured some interesting Pokemon. I also saw a trash bag Pokemon. Sadly, I can't catch it because all my Pokemon's health at the time was pretty low. And just when I thought I'm done, I forgot the chest and a sleeping bag. I'm done. I'm done. A sleeping bag. Why? All I need is a bag. Why do I need a goal, some gas tank, and a fucking chest? Actually, the chest does make sense. Luckily, there are many webs in the mineshaft which I can make it into a wall and I can steal the chest from the mineshaft. So, no big ish. Finally, some footage so I can start moving the pictures like some lunatic. And finally, the bag is done. And for some reason, you can fill it with water? What? So yeah, these are my new Pokemon and oh my god, Blastoise. Give me that. I'd sell my kidney for Blastoise. Well, that sucked. After that, I found an item from the shopkeeper called pee pee up <laughs> i just can't i just can't so <laughs> so i beat up some pokemon and found a cup that i can't break after that i crafted a boat and went to find the super rod which is the secret weapon on finding ash crit ninja so first i need to find the fisherman which means i need to find a ship and would you look at that well on the ship i found some water gems and <gasps> It's just an old rock. God damn it. I also found a Pokemon mark, or should I say Pokemon mark? Anyway, I found some marbles and things that I can sell to the shopkeeper for some money. Oh yeah, I also found the fisherman and he doesn't sell the rod. Which means that the only way to find it is by the ship's chest. Or you can let your water type Pokemon to find it by try it didn't work because my frog is always strong. So I tried testing the old rod to see if it can find something interesting. And it found a giant fish that can shrunk like a puffer fish. Interesting. And then just few minutes later, I found another ship and my little pony island. Oh yeah, also a naked guy. The chest is the same as before, also another old rod. And then I found a magic card which I thought is a shiny one, but it's just a two colored magic card. I also went to explore the island which is quite nice. Then I found a village and also a gym I think. I battled a bit and of course I lost because my team looks like a sack of shit and then I went home to cry. While I was crying I saw Hope which is a boss squirrel. Fucking peak am I right? Of course I defeated him, I tried to capture him but he just doesn't want to be captured which broke my heart even more. And because of that I am more motivated to find the super rod so I continue my journey. And not so long after I found another ship which has a boss in it but I'm not going to battle him because I know I will get clapped. The difference between this ship and others is it's bigger which means more stuff and I finally found a not so old rod which which is good rod, basically super rod's little brother. So anyway, I went to try it out and I thought it will give me some rare Pokemon, but instead it gave me some shit like Pyukumuku. But my mission is still not yet complete because my goal is the super rod. And so after a while, I found another ship again. This time, it's more fancier than before with a bartender, sort of, which I can finally sell my items to her and there's also the same type of chest, blah blah blah. But I saw a Lapras, and as you can see, I'm not blind. I quickly fly into the boat and went where the Lapras is, and then it was gone. How the fuck? Anyways, I went to another ship, 
Turns out they were all connected, like neighbors. But that's not the point. The point is, I found the super rod, baby! Whoa! Fireworks, balloon pops, everything. Anyway, of course, I need to test out this baby and see if there's any chance of encountering a bad bond Greninja. And uh, no, at least I got a level 60 Pokemon. So I did a little bit of research and found out that Greninjas often spawn in swamp biomes. So after a little bit of traveling i found a swamp and i sit there no actually i stand there for almost an hour and no ash greninja but they did say it comes down to luck but i didn't know my luck was that bad and so i gave up because i waited too long but mostly because my ass is hurting for sitting too long so i went to the ocean again and found a more fancier boat in fact it's a wedding boat and there is my boy pip there he's waiting for the people who are about to arrive but sadly nobody is coming there are some interesting items in the chest as well for example the cherish ball and the love ball which i didn't know it existed please pokemon fans don't kill me after that i found another village and i healed my pokemon and upgraded some of my pokemon moves which is now on a whole different level but there's no move for frogadier because he's a piece of shit and i also got a five with power ranges over here after that i fought a trainer and for some reason he has a mewtwo i'm so jealous anyways i beat some pokemon Pokemon, heal my Pokemon, fought a low budget gym, heal my Pokemon again, basically just a cycle, and I don't even get special items, all I got is money where I can only buy PP up. <laughs> After that, I fought some boss Pokemon, which I guess is a friend of Sonic, but this time the boss did drop something and it's a uh, toxic or great after that i travel a bit and i also met santa too he was smoking a crack later on i battled the meowth boss a bit and also captured him he looks cool too i also found another village again i steal their stuff and also caught lapras yeah. after that i encountered the boss of deers and his face is very terrifying but i accidentally killed him so sorry afterwards i thought it would be a good idea to head to the nether and see what's up and yep i did not regret i encountered a badass fire type pokemon which actually i don't even know it existed oh yeah i also caught this pokemon too i think it's a legendary one because when he spawned there is a text set something like uh the pokemon's name uh blah 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 has arrived i don't know and the reason i didn't record is because at the time there was nothing interesting so i stopped record to save up some space and when he turned up i forgot to record so yeah. I also caught Ghastly and it was cool as hell. And Magmar's pretty cool too. After that, I found yet another village. And because I'm too rich, mainly because I stole their stuff, I decided to buy a daycare, which is expensive. And I bought it and I don't even know how to use it. Oh yeah, when the so-called legendary Pokemon spawned in, the text was like this. Later on, I decided to check out if there's something interesting in the end. So I first built a end portal myself which it did not work for some reason so i tp to the stronghold and find the portal and to my surprise the ender dragon is the only minecraft mob that survived in pixelmon so yeah that's about it subscribe also check out this video where i played the box mod in minecraft